Hey there, this is Christopher Dawes from the IBM Forms team, and today I want to demonstrate how you can build record locking into your FEB applications. Let me explain by using a simple application. I have a customer tracking application, which is what could be used to track all interactions with a customer. Since this application is accessible by a large team, we want to ensure that multiple people don't try to update a record at the same time. The default behavior of FEB is that the last submission wins, so if two people update the same record at the same time, the last submission will overwrite any changes made by the previous one. Using stages and some JavaScript, we can easily ensure that only one person can update a record at any given time, and any other users that attempt to do so will be alerted. Let me show you what this looks like, and then we will review how it works. I just spoke to a new customer, and so I want to create a record in my application so that my team is aware of the interaction. The customer was Jane Doe Cleaning. We can see that that customer does not exist in the customer dropdown, so I'm going to add it. I click on the New Customer button, type in the customer name, and click Add. Now we can see that the customer has been added to the dropdown. I can then fill out any relevant information pertaining to the interaction and then submit the form. Now if I want to access the record again, I can open the view responses, find the record, take note that it's in the read-only stage, and click it to open it. Now the entire form is read-only to me. If I want to be able to edit it, I have to click the Request to Edit button. If anyone else tries to access the same record, they will be informed that the record is currently locked by a user. To simulate that, I've logged in as another user. And as you can see, I can see this same Jane Doe record. And when I click on it, we can see that the record is locked. So I will not be able to modify the form. But I can still read it. And if I try to update that record, the form blocks me from doing that. If I go back to the browser where the owner is logged in, I can update the record and update it. Once the record is updated, it can now be checked out by someone else. So I come back over to the other screen with the other user and we can see that it can now be requested by this user. After you have your basic form content, create the stages. Read only, update, and retired. In each stage, add the action buttons that control the flow between the stages. In the read-only stage, we use the stage properties to make the form read-only, as you can see indicated here. I won't be covering every detail of the JavaScript that is used in this example. Instead, I want to provide a high-level overview, and then you can inspect it further by downloading the application and importing it into your own FEB environment. The best place to start is to click on the Events tab, where you'll see all of the objects that have JavaScript assigned to them. The required JavaScript is in a few places. The form on load event that checks to see if the current user is the user that locked the record. The validate button pressed event where again we check if the current user is the one that locked the record and the before save event, which is where the current user is defined as the owner or the one who has established the lock. 
This particular example also has a few other features. Predefined admin users can always update a record even if it is locked by another user. If a user keeps the record locked for more than three hours, the record will automatically be unlocked. The user and date are recorded in the history multi-line field every time the form is updated. Customers and partners are stored in separate forms within this application. They are created and retrieved using services. I created this diagram to help us just picture what this form is doing. As you can see, we start in the start stage. When the user clicks submit, it moves to the read-only stage where we can click the request for edit button, which moves the form into the update stage. Once in the update stage, we can click the update button, which moves the form back to the read-only stage. When we're in the read-only stage, we can choose to retire the record, which moves it into the retired stage. A record in the retired stage can be reactivated and sent back to the read-only stage. I hope that you have found this application review helpful. Thank you for using IBM Forms Experience Builder. If you have any questions or feedback, please post in the DevWorks community. Thank you.